drawing in uh, the body of work here that I get a lot of questions about or I hear a lot about um, is this guy right here. Uh, we've got a dissected frog. Um, this was an image from a science textbook uh, that was somewhere from here up and then I had to fill in the blank with um, the legs. I do not remember the exact point at which I thought, ooh, I really would love to draw a dissected frog. Um, I didn't dissect the frog myself, but it was something that I absolutely did in biology class um, when I was in high school. But I thought, ooh, that would make for a very interesting drawing. Um, and, you know, the idea for the dissected frog came before I found the source images um, that I wanted to utilize. Um, but in terms of a drawing, strictly speaking, and not the thing it's referring to, you know, the forms and the way that you're trying to describe a very shallow space, you know, from the front of the back of the frog, the interesting shapes that the organs make themselves, um, and, and how do you, you know, make it, uh, make the forms feel as though they're opened up in the way that they are when you're doing that in biology class. Um, became, it was a very tech, highly technical exercise. It was challenging. Um, I think uh, it's one that I don't know I would want to do again, but part of me feels like, ooh, I could do this a little better if I tried again. Um, the frog's significant to me uh, because it was early in the series. It was one of the first 10 drawings um, that are ultimately included um, in the ephemera exhibition. Um, I grew up chasing frogs and toads around out in the country where I grew up. There was a creek not too far from our house. Um, and, and so they were part of, you know, just something that was around when I was a kid. Um, I like the way that they look. They look, you know, they're odd creatures. Um, I love them. So I, I've drawn frogs in the past and I thought, oh, okay, well, let's get gross with it and draw this dissected frog. Um, in this uh, body of work, there are three frogs in various states. I drew the dissected frog and I thought, you know what, it would be great um, if there were other frogs in the exhibition or in this group of work um, in different states of being or different states. So obviously the dissected frog is not a living creature at this point and also it's um, not just the dead animal, but it's this uh, sort of learning exercise. Um, and you're dissecting in biology class, it's not a barbaric act, you know, you're, you're going in there, making cuts and opening things up out of the, you know, curiosity of the world around you. So I felt like that, that notion of curiosity was important to me um, and is important to the rest of the work. Um, but showing the frog in various states, um, both living and not living, was important to, to, for me to sort of tell the bigger story of like my relationship to frogs over time, um, which sounds very profound, um, but, but really, you know, a way of, of sort of looking at this form from multiple angles and multiple states.